The Dallas Cowboys have fired their defensive coordinator, Mike Nolan, after only one season with the team. Um, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. The Cowboys, you know, were supposed to have one of the most elite defenses in the league. So basically an elite team in general. Um, but that never happened. They ended up finishing in the 2020 season um, with, the, uh, with the worst defense in the league, or one of the worst defenses in the league, that is. Um, and this was reported by uh, Tom Polish, sports role of NFL.com. And uh, um, actually, Mario, I'll start with you on this one first. What do you think of this? I said it before. Jerry World is making changes big yeah. time, and it's happening quick. This is the, Jerry Jones, here's the thing. In order for the Cowboys to be successful, mm -hmm. he has to become – he was when he first got there. Put it this way. This guy had the guts to fire Tom Landry, a Hall of Fame coach. He had the guts to fire a uh, Hall of Fame head coach, Tom Landry. And it paid out for him. It paid out for him because he, he signed another head coach in Jimmy Johnson, Johnson, who's another Hall of Famer. So I believe that Jerry Jones has to become an aggressive owner. Because when he first got to the Cowboys, it was this. You want, you want, you get out. It was just everybody who didn't perform. Get out, leave. And he, what he did was, he used that Hirsch, uh, remember the Vikings Herschel Walker trade. They took, gave him all their picks. Just to get Herschel Walker, he re he realized what he could do with those picks. Said deal, took them, and just made a huge roster on them. I mean, you look at who they got. Um, you look at Emmett Smith. He drafted most of the great wall at Dallas. Michael Irvin, I believe, was a part of that. Yeah. Troy Aikman might have been a part of. It. You look at the Hall of Famers that he built with those draft picks. He needs to get aggressive. He's right. got he's got a, a great young core, great young core. You look at Leighton Vanderesh, you look at um Jalen Ram, uh, not Jalen Smith. I'm sorry, not Jalen Ramsey. You look at Randy Michael, Gregory, Randy Gregory, Michael Gallo, Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, oh, not Lawrence Taylor, I'm not Lawrence Taylor. Um, the, the, the Marcus Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Dexter Lawrence. My I bad, guys. My one. bad. Oh, you got yeah, Lawrence Vanderesh Smith. You look at um Trayvon Diggs is gonna be is gonna be a good one. CD Lamb. You look at um uh, Michael Gallup, Mari Cooper. You have a good Dak Prescott. You, yeah, know, you have a very good young core here. He needs to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is something that uh, Jerry Jones has not been for a very long time, and you know that because look how long he kept Jason Garrett. Right. Jason Garrett was not a bad coach. I'm not saying he was a bad coach, but Jason Garrett wasn't what you call a guy making the playoffs every year. You right. know what I'm saying? It was like almost once every two years. So I mean, you could tell how he just basically lost that aggression. He, he needs to get that like, hands-on Jerry Jones like he did when he first got there. Because when he first got there, people were being dumped like flies. Right. You were a Hall of Famer and you were getting dumped like a fly. And that's what he was doing. And he and he had a vision. He had a plan. And he made that vision. And they won three out of four championships. Uh, three out of four. Uh, three championships in four years. Excuse me. So when you look at it, he needs to go back to that guy. Right. Hey, Mike McCarthy is not the answer. He's got to go. Now, I'm not going to continue to talk about uh, Barry Jones. I'm going to talk about uh, Mike Mullen for a second. This is the first of many. Okay, Mike Mullen was not doing a great job as defensive coordinator. Okay, there was nothing flashy about that Cowboys defense. I don't think it was one year. There was one week, maybe against the Bengals, probably. There was probably one week where, other than that, the defense just wasn't there. Right. I couldn't really consider the Cowboys a threat to the defense. I couldn't because they just, they defensively, they were not good. And I believe that you want to keep Dak Prescott. You want to keep Elliott. You want to keep Cooper. You want to keep uh, Gallup. You want to keep the offensive line that you got. You need to bulk up that defense. Because let me tell you something. A great offense is, is amazing. But with a bad defense, you're not going to really get to that, many, to that many places. I mean, you've seen how many – you've seen – I think it's been like two times already since Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott has missed the playoffs. Right. Or they made it with like a, a very trash record. So – this defense got to bulk up. They're not going to win nothing unless this defense bulks up. And I think the first key piece is getting rid of Mike Nolan. I'm, and I wish Mike Nolan the best in his future endeavors. I don't want anybody who got fired to just have no job for the rest of their life. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? I hope he gets a job. I hope he gets a different type of job. A defensive coordinator for Dallas Cowboys is just not his thing. And whoever the next defensive coordinator is, they better do a better. They better do a good job. Or I expect Jerry Jones to bump them too. Right, and I said it. I said that midway through the season with the Dallas Cowboys, I and I and I even said it. And you can vouch for me right here. I said it, some these heads, heads got to get cut off. And I had a lot of people ask me, "Well, why? Why is their first year? I don't give a damn if it's their first year." Let me explain something to you about the Dallas Cowboys, okay? Like like we just mentioned, you got 
uh, uh, Dak Prescott, Michael Gallup, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Amari Cooper, um, C.D. Uh, Lamb on, on one side of the ball. You got you got Randy Gregory, uh, Demarcus Lawrence on the other side of the ball. Alder Smith. Alder Smith. You got all of this talent. This was supposed to be one of the best teams in the NFL this year, and look what happened to them. Right. And, and and I can't and I can't say it's all their fault. They did get played by injuries. They lost Dak early in the right. season. And that's not their fault. But you got to remember, Andy Dalton is in the back quarterback. Everybody says yeah. that because he plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. I, I get that, but remember, he made seven playoff appearances, so he's exactly. not a back quarterback. He really isn't the back quarterback. He knows what he's doing. But a lot of that, a lot of that failure goes on the coach's side, not just the players. The coach, and whenever someone fails, everybody has to take a blame right. for it one way or another. In the way, in the way I like to describe if it, the way I like to determine whether it's the coach's fault or the players is this: Jalen Smith is a Pro Bowler, without a doubt. Leighton Van Der Esch is a Pro Bowler, without a doubt. Randy Gregory is not a Pro Bowler; he's a decent player. Alden Smith will not be what he used to be, but he is a decent player. Right? Okay. C.D. Lamb is a, is a Pro. C.D. Lamb, not a Pro Bowler, but like he, he, will, he will get there. I feel like I absolutely believe that. Amari Cooper is a Pro Bowler. Ezekiel okay? Elliott can be a Pro Bowler if he steps exactly. up. Exactly. Like, like, but you, but I'm, I'm only going to focus on the defense. Because right. you remember, it had so when they first started the season, they had seven of the best defensive players you could possibly name. It was Lawrence. Griffin was there, but he ended up dipping. They had Gerald McCoy, so put that as three. Mm-hmm. They had um, Alden Smith, put that as four. Randy Gregory, five. Jalen Smith, six. Leighton Van Der Esch, seven. You had seven defensive guys who could have easily been Pro Bowl. And we're looking at them, and we're like, this is a weak defense. Big time. Seven out of the, out of the 11 could have easily made a Pro Bowl. And then you had, like, a youngster in Trayvon Diggs. Because Trayvon Diggs didn't have that too bad of a season. You know what I'm saying? But um, Jeff, I think they have Jeff Heath, too, I believe. I'm not sure if he's with the Raiders or not. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. I don't want to give anybody, like, bad info or nothing like that. So I'll look it up. But as I'm looking it up, that's how you know how – that's how you know it's the coach's fault. Is when you have all these great players – most of them are Pro Bowlers, and you. All just right, Jeff. Can't. Jeff, he played uh for the Dallas Cowboys before, but he's with the Raiders now. Okay. So, all right. So, forget about Jeff. He, but you have all these. Pro, you have seven out of eleven players that could be Pro Bowlers or have been Pro Bowlers before, or were close to that. And you're just, and you're playing like and and, they, and for some reason this defense is going to go at thirty points, forty points a game. That's absolutely unnecessary. It is. That's how you know it's the coach's fault. Because let me tell you something. If they're co- if they're better coach, if there is a better defensive coordinator there. Then I guarantee you they ain't letting go of 40 points. Never. So that's that's the thing I feel like with a lot of fans they do. You see all the talent that these teams get. Okay. Like um Cleveland Browns, when they took Odell Beckham, well, they're definitely gonna become a team now. Kareem Hunt. Let me explain something. D- does anybody find it weird that the Browns make it to the make it to the playoffs without Odell? Right. Because of the coaching. They go half the season without Nick Chubb and they make it. Now I know what you're gonna say, Kareem Hunt's a very good run back. I completely agree. Okay, this this is what I'm talking about here. You made it to the to the playoffs with your top two wide receivers being Jarvis Landry and Rashad Higgins. Right. How many people don't probably as a third option? Okay. This wasn't this wasn't the All Star team that this wasn't the All Star Browns team that was going. You know what I'm saying? This was a team who had a lot of significant injuries, who had a decent amount of significant injuries on this team. That's what it was. Now, going back to the Cowboys. You have this, you have this all-star pack defense, and they didn't. They let they go just, forty points a game. Couldn't do anything. That's definitely a defensive coordinator's fault, right there. Absolutely, and with, you know, obviously, we were, we wish all Mike Nolan the best of luck moving forward. But I, I expect Jerry Jones to get people out of here because right. it's not just the defensive coordinator's fault. It's offensive coordinator. Um, can I see Mike McCarthy getting fired? Yes, but they, I think they made an announcement that he will be staying next year, so I don't think it's going to happen. Um. But with that said, you know, Jerry, man, Jer- Jerry boy, you're listening to this. Keep going. Just keep going. But um, I don't want to I don't want to be rude or anything. So I just want to say good luck to Mike Nolan moving forward and good luck to the Dallas Cowboys moving forward.